Hey, um, I'm editing right now. Hey, if you hear any, like, creepy kind of sounds in the background, that's the noise reduction that I added to it. I forgot to turn my fan off when I was recording, so, um, don't be creeped out. That's the noise reduction. I'm gonna fix that next video. <laughs> Okay, so today we're going to be tackling this render. It's pretty simple. It's mainly just a wireframe and a twist deformer. So let's do it. All right, first thing I want you to do is actually go over to your user preferences and type in library. And over here, I want you to click on material library. I'm not going to get into texturing, and that'll give you some great textures, and we don't have to waste time with that. All right, first thing I want you to do, shift A and add a icosphere. Hit S, scale it up a little bit. And the first modifier we're going to add is Simple Deform. And uh, make sure you have clicked on Twist right here. And go to the angle and just twist it a little bit. Right, right about there. And that'll be good. And uh, if you ever want to play with Blender by yourself and you can do some deforming, there's Bend, Taper, and Stretch. Those are really fun to play with. But we're going to stick to Twist right now. All right, second deformer that we're going to add, modifier, not deformer, is the wireframe. Where are you at? Oh yeah, wireframe. Go over to your wireframe and hit replace original. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna up the thickness a little bit and then we're gonna add two textures to the icosphere. So the first one I would recommend using your texture is, well, go down here to your material library and hit cycles and materials. So the first material I think you should use, which I think what looks best for this tutorial Right down here, it's called Gradient Pass. And this one just looks really nice. Uh, and then the second material, add, um, keep it on Diffuse and just make it really dark black. All right, let's go back to our um, modifiers and go over here to Material Offset and hit one. Go down here and go to Material View, boom. You can see that. Now we have a few, one or two more um, modifiers to add to it. So let's just minimize these two so we can see. We need to add a bevel modifier. And where are you at? Bevel. And we're gonna put the bevel modifier all the way at the top. So hit your arrows till it's at the very top and it does this. Go into your bevel, click only vertices and hit two segments. And now we have this little cool little stuff going on here. Last modifier is our subdivision surface. And down here on render, hit five, and then leave it at one so we don't overload our computer. But basically, we have our model. And um, I think everything looks fine. I'm gonna keep it just like that. Now, for lighting. That's basically, that's the main part. Now we're gonna add some lighting. So, go up here. We're gonna use an HDRI. I'm gonna leave a link in the description to the website. It's called HDRI Labs. Everything's free. And um, link will be in the description. Just pick an HDRI and uh, we're going to use that. All right. So no get, now go down here to the node editor. First thing you need to do, go up here to your world settings and click use nodes. All right. Now down here in the node editor, right here, click the world logo. So you're gonna see your two, you're gonna see uh, the world output and background. So just leave those there. The first thing we wanna add is an environment texture. So search ENV, there we go, environment texture. Uh, connect it to the background. Sorry, these are too close together. All right, connect it to the background. Next thing we're gonna add is a mapping. So search in APP, right there, mapping. Let's put that there, move it up so you can see. And then the last one is a texture coordinate. So TXT, texture coordinate, go to the generated, connect that to the vector. All right, now go to wherever you saved your, um, your HDRI, and we're gonna pick that. Old industrial hall, and there we go. Now let's check it out. Go to your Bring that down, go to the rendered view and see how it looks. Boom, it's kind of dark, that's easily fixable. Let's just go back to our materials, go back up to your node editor. And I know when I did this the first time, it looked like it, need, looked like it, it needed to be a strength of 12. 
So I'm just going to leave it there. You do whatever you want. So that looks like that. That may be all we need to do in the world node editor. And let's uh, go back to our render view again and check it out. Yes, that looks really good. All right. Next thing we're going to add is a plane. Scale it up. We're going to take our icosphere, scale it down pretty far, bring it this direction. Zoom in here and let's add a camera. Um, shift Alt Zero and that'll snap the view. I'm going to hit G. I'm just going to reposition the camera, so I'm going to hit G, play around with it. Then I need to get my icosphere right there on the surface. So I'll go up, kind of eyeball it, hit zero to go back to my camera view. I'm going to click on my camera up here, just reposition it. Uh, kind of zoom out. That looks about right. Let's just check the render view again. All right, perfect. Now let's just add a black texture to our uh, plane. So we're gonna add a mixed shader. First one is gonna be a diffuse. The next one is gonna be a glossy. Bring the factor pretty low. Make your diffuse really dark. And bring your roughness down a little bit too. And yes, that looks perfect. And there you go. That's basically the tutorial. You can add some spheres, add some fun things to it. You can be creative and do whatever you want. And uh, yeah, that's essentially it. Uh, thanks for watching. You can feel free to subscribe and follow me on Instagram.